This did nothing for my fear of flying. This is, this is, this is as bad as it gets. He's so alone. Hey guys, today we're checking out Castaway from 2000. Let's get to it. I'm really excited for this one. I've done a couple of Tom Hanks, Catch Me If You Can, The Green Mile, Saving Private Ryan. I love Tom Hanks. I'd like to check out more. I want to see Forrest Gump. Did Tom Hanks win an Oscar for this? I feel like he might have, but if it's got Tom Hanks in it, you know it'll be good. This is like where I live. I live in the middle of nowhere. Slow pants. Oof. Country living is slow going, you know? There's some piano in there. See, that is right there on the desk. See, you went with the pink. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'll meet you like a man on the fuzzy tree. Whoa, what are we in? Wintry Russia? This is cool, this is POV of the package. Spasibo. Mr. Cowboy, da? Spasibo, that is Russian. All right, we're in Russia. It's from my wife. Oh, you dirty scoundrel. At least it wasn't Hanks cheating. Time rules over Hanks. us without mercy. We live or we die by the clock. We never turn our back on it before the end of today's package sort. Hey, Nikolai, hey. You're running this FedEx factory. Whoa, Snickers Snicks. bar and a CD player. I took the liberty of sending this to myself. What could it possibly be? Is it architectural plans? Sent it to himself in Russia. He got there before it did. A timer. 87 hours is a shameful That's outrage. A shameful outrage. The cosmos was created in less time. What has it been bought? He's a... uh, what is this guy saying? His truck broke down. He stole a boy's bicycle to do his delivery. I borrowed it. <laughs> Every one of these packages has to be on the big Truck. He lives and dies by this clock. Oh, oh, he's got a lock on it. A boot, a boot on it. All right, so he's just a, he's a harsh taskmaster for FedEx. Well, that would make us stuck. He looks a little, a little puffier than I've seen him before. Tip top, tip top, four minutes. Kelly, are you there? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. You're not there. I miss you. I really want to kiss you. I gotta go to the dentist this week. I got something in there that's hurting. Uh, toothaches are the worst. Now, I know this movie's called Castaway. I know he's like, he gets stranded on an island. So I'm getting nervous here. We're getting on the plane. I'm afraid of flying. I've flown, but I, I'm definitely nervous. I absolutely positively have to get to Memphis tonight. I don't think so. Is there something wrong with our doctors that Jack here keeps getting certified to fly? The guy who stole a crippled kid's bicycle. Love that the kid's now crippled. <laughs> Gets in more embellished every time. Today's truck was two minutes late. Tomorrow's will be four minutes late. This grape juice. 1992 full body grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Russian red wine. I've been meaning to ask you, how's Mary? She went to the doctor yesterday. It's just kind of wait and see. We are all just thinking about her and you. Ah, oh, this girl, he can't even get a hold of his girlfriend. His plane's gonna, oh, we, well, they're off the plane now. They didn't crash. Okay. Maybe they're on a layover though. I'm nervous. They're still at the airport. I heard about this doctor down in Emory in Atlanta. I could, I could get his number. You know, he could get this thing fixed. Oh, that's nice. He's a problem solver, you know? He's not, maybe not super emotional but he's a problem solver. That was him reaching out emotionally in the way that he could. All right, he didn't crash. Okay, the hairs on my arm are standing up. I assumed we were, we were crashing on an island here. Good, he's gonna get to see his girl. Okay. Thought it was gonna be like, never see her. Selling hunt. I love Mad About You. You're home. Home indeed. I love that you're home. Oh, they're in love. Just dancing to the photocopier. The impending doom. On his annual gift giving venture. He spent the day with children, handing out presents. I'm not relaxed because I know something's gonna happen. Better cuddle him now while you can. When you have a chance to be the big spoon, just take it. The turkey's a little dry, isn't it? No, 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 no never. Every Thanksgiving. How many did you do last night? Last night, 2.9 million. 2.9 has got to be the record. Oh, look at those marshmallows. What'd they do the first night? Yeah. The very first night? 12. How are you gonna make an honest woman out of killing? 14 minutes. <laughs> I feel this as someone not married. Every family gathering. Just that Kelly is still recovering from her failed relationship. 
relationship with a parolee. And Kelly was married before? Oh, Kelly yeah. just can't see being with a man who wears a pager. Oh, yeah. You got one of those things that goes vibrating, you know. He's oh, yeah. got that tool oh, thing. No, That's no, the worst. Down. I had a root canal yeah. in the recent past. Ish. She gets okay, it. I'll cancel Saturday. No, don't. All right, I'm going to have to switch over the South America thing. What about our Christmas? I got a gift for you. We have to do it in the car. Don't go, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love the wrapping. Ooh, pretty. Oh. I'm always gonna keep this on Memphis time. Kelly time. That's so cute. I love them. Look at my journal. Uh. Did you like the pager or not? Yes, I love it. And it's not one of those loud ones, right? No, you can program it. She's the sweet. I'm not sure she likes it, but she's very polite. I love them. They're so cute. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm getting real upset here. It reminds me, I almost forgot. I have one more present for you. Is it a ring? I'm terrified. I'll be right back. Why did he say that? Never say that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm like, oh, God. Specifically avoid like plane crash movies. Go oh god. Cause I'm a nervous flyer. Fuel nine to five decimal five. Is this gonna be terrifying? We're two hundred miles south of original course. They're off course? Get bumpy. Oh god. It's probably used to some turbulence. I've never even been in real turbulence, like a couple bumps. I would lose it if there was Bad turbulence. All right, I'm getting nervous. He should buckle up. Oh god! Oh my god! What happened? Explosion! Oh my god! Oh god! We may have to ditch, like jump out. He knows what to do. I would freeze, man. I would be frozen. Well, I would stay close to these guys. Oh, the watch. Is he going for the watch? Oh my God, the sound. <gasps> Are they going straight down? the water oh my god oh my god they're underwater oh my god where's the where's the, the pilots all the guys oh my god I can you unhook it unhook it unhook it oh it's so loud and there's a storm At least he has that boat. <gasps> Is he gonna explode? Holy. Get on the raft, man. Whoa. This did nothing for my fear of flying. Just friggin' hold on. <gasps> it's just water. I'm afraid of open water as well. This is, this is, this is as bad as it gets. Where are the other guys? Oh my god. He's just in that tiny little raft by himself. Look at the water. I feel like I would just die of, of being too frightened. Look at these waves. And th that's right, there's no light. I mean, it's a storm. You would just see like, there would be no moonlight because of the clouds. You would only see when it's lightning. Oh my god. Just the rain. <gasps> oh god, he hit something. Land. This sound, man. All right, well, he's on the beach. Oh, that cut. And you just wake up the next morning. Well, good thing he hit land. I feel like he would have just died if he was out there on the water. I mean, it looks like a beautiful island, but geez, not under these circumstances. Can you imagine? Like, what do you do? And he's a problem solver. 
Where did they shoot this, I wonder? Still got the watch. I feel like you should pull that boat in. I mean, I guess you can't really just paddle out into the Pacific Ocean, but maybe there's something useful in there. Did you guys ever hear the theory that Amelia Earhart crashed on an island and then she was eaten by coconut crabs because they found this like deserted island with a woman's bones on it? I hope there's no predators on this island. Yeah, yeah, pull that board in. Keep whatever you can, I guess. I feel like walking around in bare feet on an island seems risky. You want to protect your feet, man. Anybody? I mean, I guess he doesn't know where he is. There could be people on it. Help! Yeah, help. SOS. It's nice he has that. Look at these waves. It's night. Like what? Yeah. Like what if there's? I don't know. Bears. Oh frick. And this is it. Like I knew that he got stranded on an island, but I don't know if he makes it. I have no idea what's gonna happen now. Yeah. Okay. Gotta think strategically. Water, shelter, signal, food, weapon. Please don't be a predator. Oh, speaking of predator, I heard that the composer of this movie composed Predator. And Back to the Future. Although there isn't much music in this. Anybody? Open those. These noises. Coconut. Is that a coconut? Some kind of fruit. Ooh, he's like a monkey just like figuring things out. Must be good if it's got a hard shell like this. He's probably so thirsty. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. We got food and liquid. Could you just drink coconut milk and not drink any water? I mean, it's watery. Well, that makes me a little bit less worried about him just dying right now. Yeah, he should make something to catch rainwater in. Spooky cave? Shall we go spelunking? It's kind of an epic shot. I don't know if I'd just be going into a deep dark cave like that. <gasps> no! Protect your feet! Oh, the... <clears throat> yes. Yes. Good. It's crazy, he just lost his shoes in the crash. I guess he was blown around underwater. Yeah, yeah, you probably lose your shoes. This makes me think when I got on a plane, I should wear tight fastening shoes, among other things. Yeah, I gotta pie and see what this island is all about. I'm acting as though I'm some sort of survivalist. I have no clue what I would do if I was him. Well, I'm sure I would die, actually. Like 99% sure I would already be dead. Jeez. Careful, careful, careful. Is it a pilot? Oh no. Oh no. Ew. Well, maybe he has like a radio or something. Oh, gross. Oh, that little crab. Shoes! Shoes! Oh, frig. Okay. Albert R. Miller. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh. So, that's it. Man, there's not much dialogue for Tom Hanks, though, here on this island, right? He's just got to do so much without saying a lot. <laughs> that's a good idea, still. Oh. Still hasn't opened those packages? He's hoping he's going to get rescued. Yeah, he should build a rain thing. <sighs> that would be me trying to fish. Well, it doesn't seem like there's any predators on this island yet. So loud. The water. Dude, dude! 
did he say? Oh, and what can he do? Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Dude, they can't hear you. Oh, man, oh, man. I just thought no one would come, but they're gonna come and they're not gonna see him. Over here! It's probably too small. Over, help! Come on! Help! They're still there. Maybe they're like parked up there just looking in the water. Look at those waves. I don't know. Jeez. Like there's like tide coming in from all sides to this island. The big one. Oh, frig. Got a hole in his boat now. Imagine you saw a boat in the distance and you can't... He's bleeding a lot. Uh, does he have shelter? No, he's just been sleeping on the beach. He still hasn't opened those packages. He's just protecting them. Going back to the cave. Use your flashlight. Make sure there's no bears in there. I don't think bears really live at the beach. Maybe big snakes, though. Oh, I'd be so worried to climb up there. What if the tide comes up? But it's a storm, too. There's more water than usual, probably. Oh, boy. First water! Oh, yes! He's just exhausted. The boat's probably gone by now. Look at his lips. Oh, no. That looks bad. Is he gonna open them? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you never know what's in them. I mean, maybe something. Johnny, have the happiest birthday ever score your grand. Yes, now I've heard that there's a volleyball in this, so here we go. Hey, 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 blades, though. That could be useful. There you go. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Fish net. Not gonna open that one. Okay, yes. Good. Okay, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Okay, these skates are useful. Now, eat them! Ew, it's just goo! Yes. Yeah, he needs fire, good call. He needs to cook everything. I can't imagine trying to actually start a fire like this. He's so tired. Yeah, his hands would be all like calloused up. Ooh. Save your hands, man. I have no idea how you start a fire without matches or a lighter. Oh yeah, he has- he had a toothache! Ah! <gasps> oh! He is all banged up! <sighs> oh, that's so cute! He's probably very lonely. Especially someone like him, used to being on the go, doing stuff, solving problems. He looks so friendly! You wouldn't match. By a chance, would you? <gasps> smoke, smoke! Smoke, dude! <gasps> Maybe he's good luck. Careful. He's sweating all over it. The air can't do it! Ah, okay, okay. Would this really work? <gasps> Don't stop! <gasps> get some kindling! Dude, 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 get kindling! Fire! Run! There you go! Yes! <laughs> if only he had this when the boat was there! Come on, baby! Life hard for you! The signal fire! That, that would have been good. Oh! The meteor shower! <laughs> He's lost his mind, like, a little bit. Look what I have created! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's how you would feel if you made fire yourself like that. Oh, look at this crab, though. Okay. Take much more of those coconuts. Coconut milk's a natural laxative. Is that true? Mm. Yeah, what do you do about your tooth when you're out there? Snow. Wilson. Wilson. They think that we are right here. He's talking to him, I love it. Might help save his sanity. That's a distance of... What, 400 miles? It's a search area of 500,000 square miles. Twice the size of Texas. <gasps> oh, frig, oh, frig, oh, frig. <sighs> oh, jeez. Would the salt water help? I mean, I've heard it when I'm not really. Down, but no. 
Ugh. Tooth pain is the worst. It's a good thing there's not much to eat around here. I used to avoid going to the dentist. We all do. In fact, I wish you were a dentist. Dr. Wilson. <laughs> do you do yes? My dentist name is Dr. James Spaulding. <laughs> I like the other ball company. <laughs> is that his girl? She's much prettier in real life. It's nice that he has that photo of her. What is he doing? Um... That's gonna go right into his skull! Oh, Frego, Frego. Oh, oh, please don't show it. Oh! He knocked his own tooth out. I guess you don't really know what you're capable of until you're in some kind of crazy survival situation. Four years later? He has been here for four years. Four years! Oh my god. Look how skinny. <gasps> He's all bony. Did he really lose weight like this? Oh my god, he looks terrible. Just got that blank stare. Probably just stared at that photo for four years. It's like a calendar. Wow. I guess if you spent enough time hanging out in a cave, you'd start to notice that stuff. <laughs> Wilson, he's got hair. I mean, I want it to be like a person, but... So lean. The porta party? Bakersfield. Bakersfield! Well, maybe you can use it for something. Did you just figure something out? This could work. Whoa, he's making something. Oh, he's got that skate like an axe. What is it, a raft? 44 lashings, so we have to make rope again. Wilson, we're gonna have to make a whole lot of rope. How do you make rope? I don't even know. Lashings will be structural, so that's... We need 424 feet of good rope. We have to stock it, we have to launch it. Let's not commit the sin of turning our back on time. I know. <laughs> Sounds crazy now. All right, all right. all that's left so we're gonna be short just have to make some more out of videotape the wind's still blowing in from the west i like that he just fully talks to this ball it would save him from going mad he might be a little bit mad oh my god what's he doing no 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 just getting some extra rope is he gonna answer it's a news oh man Especially after that yeah. boat came yeah. and then went and then four years go by. Yeah. Do you have to keep breaking that up? It was a good thing that we did a test because it wasn't going to be just a quick little snap. It was what, a year ago? Yeah, so after three years, couldn't take it anymore. And then he tested it because that's the kind of guy he is. We might just make it. I would rather take my chance <gasps> just out argue. there in the ocean. <gasps> Dude, that's your only friend. Wilson! Yeah. Just calling for him like he's a real person. I think I would do something like that. Just anthropomorphize something so you're not alone. Oh, never again! Never again! It's his friend. It's his only friend, his best friend. Oh, there you go, buddy. We okay? Oh, okay. Wilson would forgive him. That's a pretty nice wrap. I'm very worried about this plan, though. I don't know if this is the kind of movie where he just strips off into the sea at the end and we don't know what happens, you know? Still has that package. It would be crazy though if he didn't open it this whole time and like inside is something that could really save his life. I don't know what it would be unless it was like, if it was like a satellite phone, I guess. Otherwise it's nice that he has something, like a little bit of hope that he'll get back and deliver that package. This is a bromance between a man and his volleyball. You scared? Me too. I'm very worried about this plan. But I mean, I guess what other choices you have? He's just gonna stay here on this island alone and die probably. Did he make Wilson a body? I didn't even notice. That's adorable. Chuck Nolan was here 1500 days, escaped to sea. Tell Kelly Frears, Memphis, Tennessee. I love her. Oh my God, I'm getting chills. It's so windy. Here we go, Wilson. They're going? You don't have to worry about anything. You just hang on. Uh, all right, here we go. He's gotta get by this wall of water though. Oh my god, that water! Not yet! Oh, oh they're gonna... 
He painted the angel wings on me. Dig it over it! Come on, come on, don't fly off. I'm afraid that's gonna fly right off. I think we did it! Music, the first music we've heard since the Elvis at the start. Imagine just paddling away from the island, though, that you lived on for four years. This music is gonna make me cry. Just faded into the distance. Now they're just out there on the water. I have goosebumps everywhere. How does he know where to go? I guess he probably doesn't. He's just paddling. Hope you hit a boat. I wonder how much supplies he has. Is that a boat? Oh! What is that, a whale? Whoa. Just popping up to say hello. <sighs> is that his eye? It's not gonna hurt him, right? Oh yeah, I guess, I mean, he's a good fisherman now. I was thinking he had to have all his food and water, but I mean, unless a storm kills him, he could theoretically live out there for quite a while. <gasps> oh my god, they flapped away like wings. His raft is like busted up. Dude, dude, dude. Behind you, behind you. Well done! It seems pretty risky to leave his raft though. He's so far away. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, he has to go back. It's just a volleyball, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilson! Oh, I'm sad about it! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, he's so alone. Is he just giving up? He just thinks he's gonna die. <sighs> Those whales, maybe they could save him. <gasps> oh my god! Dude, do they see him? Dude, wake up. Signal them. Come on! He had given up, man. He was ready to go. Can you imagine that you just roll over and see that after four years? Are they sounding an alarm? Did someone see him? Okay, okay, okay. Someone saw him, right? Hello? Oh my god. Oh, how are you? Four years later, they found him. Yeah. <gasps> she has a kid. I mean, she thought he was dead four weeks later. Oh, wow. I mean, I guess he was probably in the hospital for a bit. Now he's flying home. There's a little ceremony right there in the hangar. Then we'll take you over to see Kelly. Kelly had to let you go. We had a funeral and a coffin. Oh, wow, well, yeah. You had a coffin? What was in it? A cell phone, a beeper. So you had my funeral, and then you had Mary's funeral. His wife. I should have been there for you. And I wasn't. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, man. This must be so surreal for him. I'm covered in goosebumps. I can't imagine. Like, what do you do? No. Now he's just by himself again. It's Mr. Big. I actually did root canal on you about five years ago. This is dentist? I'm Kelly's husband. Oh, um, boy. Kelly wanted to be here. Uh... Why didn't she go? I can't even imagine how hard it is for you. She didn't want to see him? She's had it rough. She's sort of lost. What about him? She didn't want to see him? I mean, I guess I've, I have no idea how I would react if I was her. But he must be very hurt. I mean, I know she's married and stuff, but she could have given him a hug. She is there. Oh, maybe the husband doesn't want her to go. Let's go home. Champagne. You know, Chuck, we gotta catch up on some of that fishing now. Goes from seeing nobody for four years to just like parties and airports full of people. Tomorrow we're gonna bring you back to life. He's very quiet. He's not saying anything. Fish? Sushi? I mean, come on! He was on an island! He ate crab for four years! This is awful. I feel like they're not getting it. He probably never wants to see another crab in his entire life. Simple as that. I mean, when he got rescued, he was like, ready to give up. Sleeping on the floor. Oh. I mean, after all that, he gets rescued and goes back and... How long will that buy me? About 10 minutes. Someone's waiting for him. Get in here, out of the rain. 
Guess hug him. I'll make it your tail. Come on. You come in, I'll make you some coffee. Because they really loved each other. Look at her baby. I mean, I'm happy for her that she was okay. So let me get one thing straight here. We have a pro football team now, but they're in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the Super Bowl last year. What happened to you becoming a professor? You're not Dr. Kelly Frears? Love it? When your plane went down. Oh, well, yeah, she probably took some time. I think about taking it up again, though. I came out here to give you this. I'm sorry it doesn't work. That's a family heirloom, and it should stay in your family. Oh, this is hard. They said they never figured out what caused the crash. So here's where that ship found you. She kept up with it all. Grants. I never should have gotten on that plane. Oh, so much regret. Imagine someone you were so in love with that you lost, that you thought was dead, and then they come back. You kept our car. Can I drive it? It's your car. That's good, because my, my taxi is gone. This, this is so hard, like, and they can't be together. It's nice that she's giving him back his car. So, what now? I really don't know. And then he just drives away? You said you'd be right back. They really did love each other. I mean, when you love someone and they die, you never stop loving them. Jack! Oh. I always knew you were alive, I knew it. Ah, uh, this is tough. I love you too, Kelly. More than you ever knew. But they can't be together, can they? She can't go. You have to go home. This is very emotional. Goodbyes are hard for me. And he took her home. We both had done the math and lost her. Not for lack of trying, man. I was gonna die there. I mean, I was gonna get sick or I was gonna get injured. Or something. I made a rope. Oh, yeah. I had to test it, you know. The weight of the log snapped the limb of the tree. I had power over nothing. That's when this feeling came over me like a warm blanket. I had to stay alive, even though there was no reason to hope. And now here I am. I have not stopped with the goosebumps this entire ending. I have ice in my glass. Must seem crazy. And I've lost her all over again. I'm so sad that I don't have Kelly. But I'm so grateful that she was with me on that island. This is just one long shot. And I know what I have to do now. You gotta keep breathing, because tomorrow the sun will rise. Who knows what the tide could bring. Oh. He's right. I gave a letter to the postman. He brought my letter back. Is he delivering it? He delivered it. Hello! This package saved my life. Oh. He's probably world famous. I'm sure she'll recognize the name. I can't believe he brought that all the way. Now where does he go? Now what? You look lost. I do? <laughs> She's sweet. This road here will hook you up with I-40 East. And if you head back that direction, find a whole lot of nothing all the way to Canada. hey -o. Good luck, cowboy. It's the angel lady. Maybe I'll go after her. Just a little smile. This theme, the Wilson dying theme. Okay guys, well that was Castaway, and that was surprisingly emotional. Right from when he loses Wilson, pretty much all the way through the end, I felt like crying. It was so bittersweet that he, he finally gets rescued. I mean, the ending ultimately is a hopeful one, and he says he's gonna keep breathing, and you don't know what the tide will bring in, and all of that. And I feel like at the end there, we saw that he can be happy, he can, he can rebuild. But yeah, it was just, it's a much more unexpected bittersweet ending than you would think. Getting rescued is the whole point and you just think everything will be just fine but then he gets back and nothing's fine it's just it's just so sad Ugh. this was a really amazing movie though i mean tom hanks was he just carried this movie for a lot of it there wasn't even dialogue it was just him whatever he's doing on the island facial expression only and he gave a lot i feel like probably was nominated for an oscar but if he wasn't i would be very surprised there was very minimal music apart from when he got off the island there was almost i didn't notice any music while he was on the island anyway at the beginning we had some elvis 
Elvis and some miscellaneous music throughout the beginning and then he gets on the island and I'm pretty sure it's just like silent. Island noises only. And then as soon as he starts to drift away from the island, we get the music kicking back in. And I like that. I like that a lot. The sound design was very good in this and, and the, the themes, when they finally did kick back in at the end, the musical theme was very touching. I liked it a lot. I don't know, this movie, it was not what I expected. I'm not sure what I expected. Maybe more of like just like a straight up like adventure on an island kind of thing. But this one is very introspective. Makes you think a lot about time passing, about what's really important to you, about how we connect with other people. It, it's making me think, man. I really enjoyed it. I do hope in the end that Chuck found some happiness. I like the, the metaphor of the angel wings on the box all the way through that he kept that box and it kept him going and, and he finally delivered it in the end. I like to think that maybe he turned around and followed the girl and went back and said thank you and they had a cup of coffee and then they fell in love, but who knows, that ending could mean anything. I will say too, the, the plane crash was quite harrowing. I haven't seen that many plane crash movies, uh, cause like I said, I'm not a good flyer. I'm already like kind of a nervous flyer, so I hope I won't be thinking of that next time I get on a plane. But I feel like I have avoided pretty much all movies with plane crashes in them, so if there are more like plane crash movies that I should check out, if there are more survival movies I should check out, more Tom Hanks, more Robert Zemeckis, uh, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.